he is born to be the biggest bass fisherman ever. Wall to wall, treetop tall. High kick! One of the smartest bass fishermen in the world. So you can find him on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, and on Twitter under Fat Cat Newton. Fishing Florida Radio welcomes the funny and hilarious Fat Cat Newton to the show. Fat Cat, good morning. Well, how are you? Good morning, everybody. What's us say wall to wall, treetop tall, the biggest bass fisherman you ever saw. Change you this fishing game cast by cast. News catch big bass. What's shaking, everybody? <laughs> what is shaking, brother? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good, man. You're living the dream, man. You know, just just trying to keep everything going. Be you know, trailblazing, trendsetting pioneer. You know, in this fishing game, just trying to you know stay on top of things. Everybody's chasing me. Everybody wants to be me, and just trying to you know set the standard for all these young cats to follow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> There you go. Role model. <laughs> you are the role model that we have been I'm waiting for. I'm telling you, man. I, I, that's what I am. So, what sh- hey, listen. We talked a little bit. I need to know about this dude, but we're going to start off like this Boudreaux. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bless your heart. So, this is the deal. You're on a fishing show, and you don't like fishing? You don't fish? No, I fish all the time. <laughs> oh, you do? I fish, all yeah. The time. Steve, oh, Steve, Steve, Steve doesn't eat fish. So you don't fish. What I understand, you don't fish. Hard. You, it's hard for you to find time to fish because you're out rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> that you somebody's been fishing. You, lo- you spend a lot of time on your Pinterest account, right? He's I on don't Facebook even know what is what is a Pinterest. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't. Are you, are you saw married? me. Are you married or you have a girlfriend? Probably neither, right? <laughs> <laughs> Both? Both. <laughs> Both. No, he doesn't. They're fighting yet. in the what parking lot. They're probably the fondest of you, your girlfriend or your whatever you have, because you they, they think you're very thoughtful, because every time you leave the bathroom, you always leave the toilet seat down. They think you're just being thoughtful. We all know that you pee setting down, so you never leave it up. But. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Well, it's your this heart, is man. The, get out there and fish. He, he knows. Bro. You got to get I, out there and fish, buddy. Obviously, he's done his homework, too. On yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Bujo's fished twice this year. <laughs> twice. Bless We're in heart. September. Fat Cat Newton. You can find him on YouTube, on Twitter, on all the stuff. Uh, the videos are great, dude. I mean, they're hilarious. They are so much fun to watch. How did you? How long have you been fishing? How, how did you get introduced into the outdoors? I've been fishing. Uh, grew up on the Potomac River. Uh, family, uh, my dad's side, were all commercial fishermen, and uh, crabbing is big down this way. So we grew up crabbing and everything, and uh, started tournament fishing in 2006. But like I said, been on the water fishing since before. I've been doing a lot of things since 87, but fishing, I started doing before 87. Yeah. Now, you, you're obviously you win every tournament you join, correct? I mean, listen, I I, I, want, I don't fish a lot of tournaments just because I want to give the other guys a chance to win. Yeah, yeah, that's a major problem, you know. Because I mean, guys get bad at me. I go out there. See, the thing is, I'm famous. I'm wall to wall, treetop tall. So when I pull up to these tournaments, you know, people always, you know, I show up. I got my jersey on. Full of sponsors and give me ten percent off if I order over a hundred dollars worth of stuff. So I'm going to to that. So I walk up, everybody's taking pictures of me, and I hear everybody call me a poser, poser, because they know I'm going to pose for pictures. So I sit there, pose for their pictures. You know, I get out and do my thing. People, you know, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty big deal when it comes to fishing. They, uh, people just love me. I hear, you know. I'm 6'4", 330 pounds. I'm wall to wall, tree top tall, the biggest bass fisherman in the game. So. I realized that I've gotten so famous when I walk to a tournament, even in public in the mall anywhere, I just say, fat, fat. You know, everybody, they don't even call me fat cat anymore. I'm so famous, they just call me fat. So <laughs> everybody, everybody knows me. Like you know, P-H-A-T? <laughs> yeah, hey, however really they want to spell it, I, I don't even know. Is that the right way to spell it? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Was that a test? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh now, I just say, just trying to change this fishing game cast by cast. Yeah, you're you're doing a great job. I I watched the I watched some of the videos last night. The carp, the carp attacking the eight foot the eight pound bass or the ten pound bass, and how you dropped off the John boat off the back of the truck was is one of the funniest things I've seen in a very long time. Uh, what are we doing a while? Though? I mean, it's all you got to get in the water quick. I mean, who needs a trailer? Throw your boat yeah. back and just slam the brakes and just drop it off. That's how we roll. Well, there you go. That's why it's yeah. aluminum. One less thing to worry about. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Who, who wants to pay a trailer fee? 
That's ridiculous. Yeah. Exactly. Nobody got time for that. Nobody <laughs> yeah. got time for that. Now you have to tell us your secret on how to how to uh, get rid of bat casts when you're using a, a bat uh, bait caster. Okay, the, the key to backlash. All right, everybody gets all panicky. You so some people get them. You know, most of people. I don't really get them unless my reels go bad. That's why I buy top of line stuff. All my reels have to have at least ten barbarians in them. And I use that line, that Florida carbon line. So when you got Florida carbon and you got a reel with ten barbarians, right. most likely you won't get a backlash. But if you get the backlash, all you do is just reel it up real fast. You don't sit there and pick it out and pick it out. No. You just strictly just reel it up and it disappears. It's it's simple logic. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people come to me because I know so much about fishing. Because I'm pretty much the smartest guy in the world about fishing. They're like, oh my God, you know. Are you a marine biologist? And I'm flattered. <laughs> I, I know a lot of people say that, but I, you know, and I love the military. I support the military, <laughs> but I've never been with the armed forces or anything like that. So <laughs> I'm not a marine, but I do know a lot about fishing. Right. <laughs> I love it. I oh love man. It. Oh, the, the the videos just are the best. I mean, uh... cool man. Thank, listen, the videos, man. I try to. All my videos are family friendly. They're all no cussing, no crazies, no none of that. Uh. It's just about, get, I want to get the kids involved in fishing. It's all about making people laugh and getting these kids you know, into fishing. And I get a little crazy sometimes. Like I say, with the, the whole kids things, I don't mind. Like, I've got a, two nieces that I'm asking, no kids. Thank you, Jesus. And <laughs> that you know I'm of. I, well, no, I actually, I know for a fact. I'm definitely don't, I don't have kids. But, um, <laughs> you got a little nervous. I'm allergic to kids. I just break out and sweat and I just, um, I can't deal with kids very well. I like other people's kids. Yeah, right. Yeah. You can give them back. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah, like rent a kid. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, like when I babysit, my way of babysitting is saying, "You want to hang out a little while or whatever." I got a closet. I'll throw them in the closet with a box of fruit roll ups. <laughs> right. And then five, six hours later, when their parents come back, hey, listen, they're happy to go home. It, yeah. it works out pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And I don't mind. Listen, I'll teach a kid an F word in a heartbeat. Some people get mad at me, so oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Hey, but listen, there's nothing wrong with the F word. People are so uptight these days. Lay off. I was, you know, I, my, my niece is four years old. She's always saying the F word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fishing, food. Fishing, food. Family, exactly. Friends, food. And food. food. Fruit roll ups. <laughs> Fruit roll ups. Five pounders. Food. Five pounders. But yeah. Fishing lure. Nothing wrong with it, man. Like I say, the with the kids and fishing, man. Main thing, I the kids, we can either get them off them iPads, put them yes. on the lily pads. Yep. Yeah. Get them out of the house, there you off go. the game and console, put them on the water with a fishing pole. Yep. I, I we need to do with these kids. That's exactly right. Now, I, I also watched. Uh, this one made me, and I texted you about this one. Someone made me a little. Uh, you have to tell us about your your pre tournament nutrition and how oh, what I what just, that you know, comes I, with. That's why I'm so wild this morning. I eat good, you know. I mean, I, like I say, I'm shaped like a goddess. I have the body <laughs> that everybody envies because of you know my, my my workout schedule and my nutrition, how I eat. This is what you, I'm going to teach everybody out there something right now. Everybody gets all uptight about bacon and sausage. Hey, listen. Get to a juicer. This is what I've done. Like this morning, I had 12 fried eggs, yep. almost a dozen. And what I do is I put them in the juicer. I like my eggs some runny, a little soft, a pound of bacon. Put that in the juicer, a pound of sausage. And I take a can of sausage gravy, a five-hour energy, and about a half a bottle of Texas Pete. Put all that in the juicer. And when you juice it, you just going to sit there and you drink it, and you're fine. Because anything you juice is healthy. Now, what's going That's to happen right. sometimes? I'm serious. It's a fact. Time to logic. What's if it's going to liquid, sometimes? it's good. After you drink this, you might get a real sharp pain in your chest. Your left arm might go numb. Listen, that's just from the excitement of losing weight. That's all exactly. that is. You'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, look at me. Like I said, I'm one of one treat that fall. I'm... I'm you know, I, I'm telling you this game, cast by cast, because how I eat, how I fish. So you guys... You know, spread the word on that smooth that smoothie stuff. I mean, I'm trying to help everybody. Yeah, there you go. Now, how? Uh, now, you, I shouldn't. Again, this is Fat Cat Newton. You can find him on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, uh, on Instagram, on Twitter, everything. Uh, you're better off just go to Facebook or go to Facebook or YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm 
I don't understand how all these guys do it. I think I like 87 social media. Of, mm. I said, oh, I ain't got time for all that. I'm too busy fishing out there ripping lips and Jack and Charles. <laughs> to have all that. I got Periscope. Periscope seems like I'm going to try to get up on some of that. But hit me up on Instagram, Twitter if you want. You might not see that much of me, but check me out on Facebook and YouTube for sure. But uh, yeah, go back there. Go back there, Chappie. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just had to. You no, probably won't see too much of it on Just Twitter, clarify. The Periscope thing go. is cool. We, we've we used the Periscope thing uh, quite yeah, a few cool. times. It is very yeah. cool. Yeah. You get a lot of hearts. Yes. Steve does, yeah, at bless least. Bless everybody's heart. That's, that's, <laughs> i got to try it out. All right, so what were you going to say before I started talking about stupid stuff? <clears throat> no, we, we, no, that wasn't, that wasn't stupid at all. Uh, we uh, Boom goes the dynamite, by the way. Uh, boom goes the dynamite. So, yeah, let's talk about that real quick. Uh, please. Everybody, I mean, that, my hook set is game changing. I mean, I get excited right now talking about it. My hook set, when, I, when, I, when I'm on the water and I set the hook, I mean, I am fast as thunder, loud as lightning. It's like people think a thunderstorm is coming. They'll put their fog talks on because my, my, my hook set is legit. It Signature? No joke. I'll rip the lips off of something, but yeah, go ahead. What's the technique you use on that hook set? Oh, this, it, it got to work out. I mean, like I say, I do. I and can't juice. Really talk about it with a but... My technique is just, it, it's, I, I've incorporated a lot of my martial arts background. I used to fight Kumites <laughs> back in 87. Right. And I incorporated a lot of my martial arts into that. Like, I was, it was one that just hurt. I think about it sometimes and I get all worked up. I, I got beat by this, uh, a big, there's a Chinese-Korean guy. And <laughs> I used to wear a blue bandana all the time when I fought in Kumites. Right. Well, this dude, man, he threw this stuff in my eyes and he kicked my knee and he really messed me up in the human thing. And he kept, he kept that blue bandana. And you guys, I don't know if you know this now, but Kevin Van Dam, he has a cousin that used to fight Kumites named Gene Clade. And Gene Clade, some people call him Jean, Jean Claude, but I call him Gene Clade. And he went back and fought this guy in the Kumite and got my blue bandana back for me. At a boy. So. <laughs> John oh my God. Dude, you're killing John me. Claude. You are killing me, dude. Oh, my yeah, gosh. A lot of people don't know that. Like, I know a lot about fishing. I mean, yeah. I know a lot. I tell, you I'm are the smartest. I'm a transcendent pioneer. Like, I started with a lot of things you see in fishing right now, like with Tommy Biffle. You see Tommy Biffle wear those shorts, so short you see the inside of his thigh. I started that. <laughs> I started wearing them short shorts with the cheeks hanging out the back like Tommy Biffle. The <laughs> Daisy Duke trend. trend. I'm a trend setting player, trail yeah. player, pioneer, like, like with Joe Swindle wearing them super tight, extra medium shirts. I started that. <laughs> yeah. started that. Young cats wearing flat brim hats. I started that. I can now how every fish is a giant. Giant, giant. Keep the net. Giant, giant. He took the 12 inch fish. I started that. <laughs> and then you got Aaron Martin's wearing yoga pants. I was the first one to wear yoga pants. You know, wearing brown mule jersey clothes and shoes like Aaron Martin does. I started that. What about so the socks? People are just, the, the, the socks? Yes. I didn't start that. <laughs> <laughs> he don't wear socks. No, he does. He was the president of the uh, Punky Brewster fan club, I heard. Oh, yeah, the Punky Brewster, that is true. I was. Yeah, I was. See, you called me slipping there. <laughs> See, Punky Brewster, I was the fan club president of that, and I used to send out those socks, and I just have a lot left because not that many people signed up for the club. But <laughs> so I do occasionally wear those Punky Brewster socks. You're right. You, you got me. <laughs> that, that is awesome. Okay. Uh, now, before we go, it is a prototype that you've worked on for some time. You need to tell us about the fishing gun shotgun prototype that you have out there. This this has been one of the biggest videos so far I did, and it was basically a tutorial. You know, I, it has, look at that, that's probably got 1.5 million views on Facebook right now, and the full-length video is probably, I don't know, a couple million. 30,000, 30 some thousand, I don't know, on, on YouTube, but. Listen, it's come to be that season again now, you know. Um, I like to hunt and fish. So I incorporated both activities into one excursion. What I do is I take my cash and rod, and I strap it to my side gun. So I'll go <laughs> when, when owl season is in, like owl season is coming up. Oh. <laughs> and we go out, we go owl hunting, and the owls burrow in the side of dams on ponds and reservoirs and stuff. So I'll go out there and crappy fish. And the rod I set up, I normally try to catch five to six pound crappy. 
And so I'll go out there and I take my rod, strap my rod to my shotgun, and I'll throw it on that. So when I sit there trying to catch these five, six pound slabs, paper mouths, crap away, whatever you want to call them, salt and peppers, and then the owl happens to fly over, boom, I get my owl. And then next thing you know, I got a six pound crappy at the same time. I don't play no games. I'm all the wall trees out tall. It's what I do. I said to him, oh my God, I can't believe you kill owls. I say, listen, we eat them. So I don't just kill them and throw them in the ditch, you know. It's not like I'm out here eating bald eagle or nothing. These owls, it's a delicacy in from I don't know, other countries. But <laughs> so, and I did a tutorial video on how to take care of your gun. And yes. it just so happens I'm in the house and, you know, I'm showing everybody, hey, listen. Make sure your gun's not, you know, floated in the house, this and that. Next thing you know, I got a hole in my cell because apparently somebody put a shotgun shell in my gun when I wasn't looking and <laughs> I had to repair my roof. <clears throat> so it's actually I haven't have it repaired it yet in the training. So but then that, that that did happen. That was that kind of sucked. But yeah. I I'm just trying to teach everybody what not to do. Yes. Well man. Yeah. Keep. Yeah, we have a break here, but you have to keep up the the great work on the videos. The videos are hilarious. I I recommend anyone who enjoys fishing and wants to laugh. They're very family oriented. Look look up my boy Fat Cat Newton on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, Twitter, the whole nine yards, uh, and and just you'll just have a good time. It's it, he like I said, they're family oriented, oriented. They're funny, and it's just good down. Down earth, <laughs> and, and, and the laugh is the best ever. <laughs> uh, dude, we appreciate <laughs> Fat Cat. I appreciate the time, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, thank all y'all. All y'all have a good one, man. We'll catch y'all later. Later, brother. Hey, See you, man. Tree top tall, baby. We'll catch y'all later. We go. We go. Later. Thank you. The best, Fat Cat Newton. Uh, we have.